Jennifer Bellick and Ainted Bridges for subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for your chance to be included in shoutouts for future videos. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I will be making um, facial bars. So you've seen me make uh, facial bars before um, aimed at sensitive skin. Uh, but I will be making some more facial bars today aimed at mature and oily skin. And this was also another happy accident recipe that um, just seems to work really well with oily skin. I've got nothing but really um, positive feedbacks for people that have um, oily face and they want a, you know, a nice gentle wash. And um, this, these bars are really, really popular with people that have oily skin and mature skin as well. And um, as you can see, it's quite dark. Um, I've already mixed in the green Australian clay. Um, I've put the natural vitamin E in here already. Um, it is 90% olive oil, virgin olive oil, 5% um, um, organic castor oil, and 5% uh, uh, avocado oil. And um, just that combination seems to be um, really, really nice and very effective for uh, oily skin. The green clay is really, really good for oily skin as well. It's um, actually aimed at um, drawing out excess oils uh, uh, when you wash your skin with it, whether it's for the body or for the face. Um, it's not a too high of a super fat. It's um, for the facial, the sensitive pink facial bars, that's 10%. Um, but these I set it at 8% super fat. And the reason why it is at 8%, two reasons. One, because uh, it, we are doing it for the skin, so you don't want too much fat in the bar or free oils in the bar. So I've reduced it by um, 2%. And also the avocado oil, much like shea butter, um, has unsaponifiables in it. So I didn't want it to be set it at 10% plus the unsaponifiables. So I set it at 8% plus the um, extra bits in the avocado that's unsaponifiable. And it seems to be the sweet spot for oily uh, mature type skin especially in summer now in, uh, in Sydney, it's quite sticky now. And um, these bars are really, really good for um, the humid, um, hot weather that we have here in New South Wales and also in um, ACT and uh, Victoria and, of course, Queensland. Um, here in Australia, it gets really, really muggy and very, very hot, especially Queensland. And I do have um, customers in Queensland as well that... Um, use these for their face and they really really like it so it's just a um, very simple recipe but effective and actually i wanted to in the past uh alter the recipe a little i wanted to do an 85 percent olive oil instead of the 90 percent and of course the five percent castor five percent avocado but i wanted to do the five percent coconut oil as well just to add a little bit of firmness plus extra bubbles and just that mild um, cleansing that you would expect to get from just, you know, 5% coconut oil. But again, once again, like I've always said, don't fix what I broke. So I decided not to make the change and just leave it the way it is because it just seems to be effective in the recipe the way it is. And I wasn't going to alter anything. Um, once I have a recipe, I'm really unlikely um, going to change it, even if it's a small change, I don't touch it, especially when it comes to the base oils. I don't uh, touch it. The only thing I have changed over time was I was using 1.2% um, sodium lactate, but I upped it to 2% sodium lactate because um, these are obviously all soft oils in uh, soap. So I've got, this is a double batch, so there's 40 grams of sodium lactate here. My lye water is below 35 degrees. I already um, tested it before filming, putting the pushing the film button or the record button, I should say. So that's the um, lye water here with 1.2% salt, 3% sugar, and a 2% sodium lactate. So that's the lye solution here. And everything is at the appropriate temperature right now. So I'm going to put my gloves on and go ahead and make some 
green facial bar soaps aimed at mature and oily skin. So with the facial bars, same with the shampoo bars, I use these. Um, so I'll be um, using these molds for it. And again, uh, I've been using those molds for a while for the facial bars especially. And I did want to kind of change it back into a uh, loaf mold. Um, but I just saw, you know, once again, don't fix what don't break. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I'm not going to change anything. Um, customers have gotten used to the size. And that size actually is quite nice when you're using it for the face. For the body, it might be a little on the smaller side. But a facial bar, I mean, it will last a long time because it's not something you're going to use on your whole body. It's just you lather, you know, what you need on your hands and you transfer it to the face. So I'm just going to leave it that size and I'm going to put my gloves on and uh, make some soap, make some facial soap, green clay facial soap.